PCC President, Dr. Pio D. Macomb. To the Vice President for the Academic Affairs, Dr. Dalia D. Lucini. To the Dean of the School of Education, Dr. Heidi M. Espadillo. To the Great School Coordinator, Mrs. Romela O. Rivera. To my teachers, visitors, fellow graduates, and to our dear parents, a beautiful and pleasant morning to all of you. Graduation marks the end of the school year, yet another extraordinary chapter. With this closing chapter, I presume that many of us are already anxious about starting the next level of adventure because unlike the textbooks, we cannot skip through the pages of life to see how long the next chapter is going to be. When we started online class, I never knew how things would change in two years due to the unprecedented COVID-19 outbreak. Honestly, my parents were worried. However, through God's grace, we were safe and still able to continue our studies. Of course, we worked harder despite all academic pressures amidst this global pandemic. This class will never forget how we could wake up a few minutes before Google Meet classes start, eat a little while, the, while lectures are ongoing, how we deal with some distracted background noise, glitches, every truckload of assignments, and of course, that online games and some other stuff that we did not notice how we spent. Standing here in front of everybody, having this feeling of happiness because of this privilege to speak in front of in front of smart people. I have proven to myself that I can be the best of what I am only if I will strive hard with a sense of strong determination and perseverance. I am also happy because all my efforts and sacrifices were well paid off. Young as I am today, I can say that failures and trials should not be the reason for us to say no and never try to do something. Instead, let us make them an inspiration to do better. Let them strengthen our character by, by unceasingly show everyone the love, respect, and kindness regardless of our differences. Whatever awards that we may receive later, at least, at last, finally, our efforts and sacrifices are ready. because of my supportive parents who are always there for me. To my mom and dad, daghan kaayong salama sa inyong dogma kanako sa akong mga mangro. To my teachers, thank you so much for the insurmountable dedication and caring and patience in instructing and teaching. To my fellow graduates, I would like to end my message with this verse. Taking from the book of Psalm chapter 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am not. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song will I praise him. All I can say is, just be proud. Celebrate what you have accomplished and look forward with an eye toward how you too can be an can be the inspiration for others. Congratulations, class of 2022.